Chris, um, Tuesday at Wolves, that was a lot better, wasn't it, despite the results? Yeah, it was. We obviously got it after the game. We played, yeah, probably near enough the best we've been this season. Maybe Barry, we were decent with the ball, which was something we've been talking about. You know, we've got to be better on the ball because if you give the ball away, especially against teams like that, you're not going to get it back for a while. So we, we talked about that before the game and yeah, we put it into put it into practice. Seen quite a few different stats today of the passing and stuff, and it was it was much improved. So that was probably why we we gave them such a t tough test. And you know, I spoke to my mate who plays for them, and he he was very complimentary. I think their manager was as well. So we've got to take that now and and do that in the league because if we play like that against you know teams that are in lower li lower leagues like us and we stand a higher chance of performing better than we have been. Yeah, just put the season, the league season into perspective. Where where are we at, bearing in mind it's still only September? Yes, yeah, it's, it's early. You know, we, for the, for the last few seasons, we've not exactly got off to flying starts. I mean, the gaffers, you know, he sets targets for us to try and be in a better position than we were last year at certain times, and that's what we've got to aim to do. Um, we always seem to come strong at the end, so we, we've just got to make sure we're in and, in and about it, you know, halfway through or whatever. It's, it's inconsistent, the word that everyone's probably going to use, and that's that's fair enough because, you know, we've scored a lot of goals, but we've we've let in a lot of goals as well, so it's, it's probably for the neutral it'll be entertaining, but for us it's disappointing because we want to we want to start keeping clean sheets as a unit. You know, it's not just the defenders, it's all the way through the team. And that's got to be our main aim in the league now, is to, is to start picking up points, obviously, but to stop conceding so many as well. What, if anything, has been said about the red cards recently? Because it's not as if it's for violent conduct. Yeah, yeah. They've all been for the same reason. Is it just a, a bad run of luck or um, is it something that needs to be addressed? No, I think both... Well, yeah, yeah I didn't even think about it, but both pretty similar um, the one against Wigan uh, you know you can't say too much but for me I think maybe like Bowles was round at left back he might he might have been able to get there was it a clear cut chance of scoring I don't know I didn't you know just outside the box obviously sometimes you might have preferred to take the penalty because obviously then you can only give a yellow card now with the new rules so um, and Lox is the same you know I, I fancied myself to chase him down so the ref obviously didn't because it was <laughs> about a minute to go as well. So did he really need to send him off? Probably not. But it's one of them, isn't it? It's, it's, it's they'll both miss one game each. And it's obviously disappointing for us because we're quite short on numbers at the back at the moment. But obviously Sweens has done his now, so he's back. And Lox has got to miss one, unfortunately. But it's, it happens in football, doesn't it? It's, it's going to happen, especially against good players. Mm. Blackpool are newly promoted, um, and they're, they're kind of riding on last season's form, I think, and beat it in seven league games. Didn't know that, but um, yeah, that's a good record. So, you know, we've we've got a good record at home ourselves. So, so we've got to just think, you know, we've got to get back to winning ways at home. You know, it was a bit of a blip last time. Um, over the last two, three years, our record at home is probably one of the best in the country I'd imagine so um, we just got to get back to that we, we we'll start you know working working towards that tomorrow obviously a few tired bodies in that today so we've just had a bit of a stretch and stuff after you know extra time and getting back so late it's what we needed so we'll go again fresh tomorrow and it'll be starting to to work on what we're going to do to beat Blackpool yeah how are you feeling at 31 years young <laughs> yeah I know no not too bad um I think I'm surprising maybe a few people with, you know, I'm covering the ground. I'm, I'm feeling right. I'm feeling right. Yeah, but that's, that's probably down to me doing things right off the pitch, you know, with my diet and stuff. So that's something I've started to take a little bit more effort with, you know, as as I am getting older. You know, it's once you go over that 30 barrier, you sort of can go one or the other way, and it does does help if you look after yourself off the pitch. Doesn't help that you know with the with the kids chasing them around all day, but um, yeah, no, I feel good. I feel good. You know, it's, I feel fit. I feel feel good in training, and that's the most important thing. As long as I'm feeling fit and healthy, then I'll I'll be happy.
Finally, I think I'm right in saying nearing 400 career league appearances. Um, I don't think you've ever had a league game with Blackpool before. You no, played them in the um, FA Cup for Sheffield Wednesday yeah, and lost. But, yeah, you're um, right, yeah. Played home and away in the, in the Cup, but I haven't, haven't um, played them at all. No, it was the same at, same at um, Wigan, actually. I don't... I never played there either, so it's quite it's quite rare nowadays. Yeah, getting to go somewhere where where I haven't played. Yeah, I was I was looking at my uh, appearances on soccer base, or whatever it was the other day. They are they are racking up. They soon they soon come about, and obviously <laughs> the next few months it, there's plenty of games. So like uh, the main thing, keep keep healthy, keep fit, and keep racking them up.